going to do a quick overview of how to create a faculty profile for your Blackboard course. And in that, we're going to show you how to link to your information in the employee directory that the college has. Uh, start out by logging into Blackboard and accessing your online course. Once there, go to the control panel. Under Course Tools, you'll notice a tool called Staff Information. Click on the Staff Information link. From here, click on the Profile button. You're now going to add a new profile to the Staff Information tool. So your title, for example, might be uh, Professor or Adjunct Professor. Give your name and email address. We do recommend that you use your CPCC email address as the point of contact for your students. Now here's where we recommend that you deviate a bit. Providing your work phone, office location, and office hours. Uh, one practice that we'd like to point out is rather than plugging all of this in across all of your courses, and then let's say that you move your, your office and then you have to update all of your courses to make sure that your new office location is correct or your office hours are correct. The college does have an employee directory that's online. Uh, I'm going to pull that web page up here real quick. If you go to the home page and then click on faculty and staff and then staff directory is in the top menu. Just type in your last name and click on the search button. If I click on my last name, it'll pull up a web page that has information about me. It has my office location, my contact information, and a bunch more uh, profile information. Things I've done, my education, my background. I can even put links and a photograph of myself. You'll notice if you look at that page, that at the top, you should have a web address that looks something like secure.cpcc.edu, and it ends in e directory edirid equals a number. Just copy that address. Now, once you've done that, go back to your Blackboard course. Skip these work phone office location hours and notes and paste right here in personal link that address. Make sure that, uh, I don't know if you noticed when I paste it in there, don't paste after the HTTP because you'll end up, with <coughs> end up with double HTTPs. Delete one of them. So you have the full web address in there. You can browse and grab a photo if you want. I'm going to grab a, a little avatar. Grab a picture of myself. And you can type in some notes. It was something like that. For more information about me, office hours, office location, etc., be sure to check out the link provided. And then hit Submit button. Hit the Submit button at the bottom. So this is what you get. I uploaded a photo, name, email address, a link, and then a little bit of text telling them to click the link. They click on the link and they get my full profile. And it gives me a one-stop shop, a one single place where I can update this information and just keep it accurate. Now one of the questions is how do I make sure that this information is accurate because my profile doesn't look like yours. Well I understand that. A lot of people have not updated their profile information and that's fine. There's a little hand up here in the right hand corner on your eDirectory page. You can click on that, log in with your username, and your password 
and here you can review it, edit, add some links, change your image, all kinds of good stuff. Now one thing to note is that this phone number here, this is actually maintained um, by someone in your area. Uh, someone in your area, your department, your program is, is listed as the person responsible for maintaining this data. If your office location and phone number are not accurate, uh, you might want to call 5000 and have them put you in touch with uh, whoever is responsible for that uh, for your area. Um, so, and again from here, if I go back to my course, I'm sorry, I'm hitting back a little bit here. If I go back to my class, what my students are going to see is if I have a staff information button, I click on it, it looks just like that, and I maintain everything in the e directory. Okay, that's it. So the basic steps are log into your course, control panel, staff information, add a new profile. In this case, I already have one, so I'm going to modify it. Fill out some of the basic information, maybe a little message telling them to click the link, and then plug the address to your e-directory profile. To find your e-directory, go to the CPCC homepage, faculty and staff, staff directory, type in your name, find your profile, and just copy the URL, the web address to this. Go back to your Blackboard course and paste it inside the personal link box and hit submit. That's all it takes. You now have a, a uh, faculty profile in your course, and you have it linked to a, a single place to maintain that information and, and uh, share that with your students. If you have any questions, please contact Instructional Development. Our extension is 6111.